Diabetes, heart disease, even certain cancers can all be caused by digestive disorders which stem from nutritional imbalances. Registered dietitian Allie Miller with Naturally Nourish is here to tell us how we can use food as medicine. I love this because it's yes. such important information that everybody can make little changes and make a big difference in their overall health. And it's empowering because you have the ability to control so much of disease prevention and also mm -hmm. possibilities of, you know, dealing with disease. Sure. Let's start symptoms. from the very beginning. We take the food, we put it in our mouth. Sure. What happens then? Yes, it all starts with chewing. There was actually a doctor in the 70s, Dr. Fletcher, and he had a weight loss plan where he had to chew each bite of food 75 times. <laughs> so anyone would lose weight doing that, of course, because we all typically do a chew, chew, swallow. Oh, yeah. So it's really important that we adequately chew or masticate our food. We have enzymes in our saliva, which help to break down and make the nutrients more available. So one option that I look at with my clients is blending. Uh, blending is kind of like providing a pre-chewed drink for your body. So we blend greens into smoothies. I would recommend doing them on your own. We've done some green smoothies here mm -hmm. with you guys. Um, and you can find some recipes on my website. But that's going to help to make them bioavailable and pro pro provide your body with that liquid already. You can also drink something that will help it go down a little easier. Yes. Right? So this is looking, once it gets into our esophagus and goes to the stomach area, the stomach is actually supposed to be acidic enough to break down a copper penny. So very acidic. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Um, so I help clients to boost up their acidity to break down foods. This is looking at like a liver cleanse. The liver makes the bile, which is the acidity for the body. Mm -hmm. So we look at doing about a tablespoon or two of this raw apple cider vinegar or juice of half of a lemon with water to help to boost up that bile to break foods down. How's that going to taste? It is pretty acidic. I mean, you have to kind of yeah. step yourself up and you kind of shoot it back. <laughs> you do it every day, just once uh, a day? In the morning, or? right, the right from fasting. So it helps to get that liver ready to boost your metabolism. Okay. Interesting. Um, the right. next Next thing, then we, get, yes, then we get to the gut. And so the gut, it's really important to look at probacteria. Mm -hmm. Three to five pounds of the body is living, thriving bacteria. So sauerkraut. That's a lot of bacteria. I know, so you can deduct that from the scale. <laughs> <laughs> You're already doing better for your resolution. Um, so your, your sauerkraut, um, yogurt, fermented foods are going to help to boost up that bacteria. And following the gut, we go down to the colon or large mm -hmm. intestine. And this is where we want to keep regularity or bowel movements happening. Um, so we're looking at fiber and fluid. So I'm going to throw together a salad. This is a Mediterranean salad. Um, it starts with mixing the chickpeas and heirloom tomatoes. And what's the deal with the heirloom? The heirloom oh, tomatoes, I believe, are just so, uh, nice and softer in flavor, a little mm -hmm. bit less acidic. And if you've seen them in the store, they look very old. I mean, it looks like they <laughs> yeah, they're, <laughs> they're a little, little wrinkly. Um, but they yeah, taste good. I've never absolutely. Tried them. And and they have such a b variety of colors, so different mm -hmm. um, carotenoids you're getting. I'm going to juice half of a lemon here, so this is going to help with the acidity, get that bile flowing. And then I'm going to whisk up a vinaigrette. I'm going to do the juice of a full lemon. Whoops. And I'm going to toss in some fresh herbs. I have, yeah, watch out, splash zone. Um, I have some fresh basil. Sure is smelling fresh. Yes. It smells good. Some fresh oregano. And then I'm going to whisk together some olive oil and some red wine vinegar. And toss in some Katamala olives for my salad. It's so bright and pretty, too. This is looking good. Yeah, so very simple uh, mix of flavors. You're getting that natural salt from the olives, which are also so heart healthy. Mm -hmm. And then this fiber, the nice thing about it, it's a mix of soluble and insoluble fiber. So it's going to help to solidify regularity and, and keep your bowels moving. Let's talk about the correlation of food, what we eat, and cancer. Because yeah. I, I, anybody would do anything to, to not have to deal with the C word. Mm -hmm. Well, so one of the big things is, you know, we think about detoxification. So bowel regularity is key. You know, we want to be having bowel movements at least once a day. That's going to be a big aspect of endogenous toxins in the body. And then avoiding some of the food colorants, artificial colors, dyes, flavors. A lot of those get stored in our fat cells mm -hmm. and can mess with our DNA, which can lead to tumorigenic growth. So many times on labels, you'll see something that says natural flavors, but that is not a good thing a lot of times, right. is it? It's not so Natural. Even looking at something like MSG, you know, we all know to look for that. Mm -hmm. There's now 150 different titles or ingredient names that our MSG is hiding under. So really, if you can't imagine the food, all of these foods here are very, um, very tangible. This is a tomato. You know, you can see what how it grows. Mm -hmm. um, very identifiable ingredients are going to be the most therapeutic foods, highest in antioxidants, and protect the body against chronic illness. Which is what we want to do. If you want this recipe, you can find it online at HoustonTexasFood.com. I encourage you to go there. We're going to try this, and uh, I'll, I'll put it on my Facebook page to let you know how it tastes. Sounds good.
and we'll be right back.